Good morning, guys. Oh, it is so good to have Sam home. All I talked about in the last vlog was like, I miss Sam. The animals miss Sam. We all miss Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. Because literally this house like can't function right without him. I kind of talked a little bit about how um, he and I have really formed a relationship that I, I don't ever want to say it's like codependent, but it kind of is. Like we're just very close. We're best friends and we've been that way since we first got together. Like we went to colleges that were two minutes apart. Um, he went to Walford, I went to Converse. So seeing each other all the time, like even if it was just in between classes, was super easy and then we moved in together and we spent even more time together now we're married i don't know it's just like we're best friends and we spend so much time together so now that he's home i'm at 100 percent again can i help you with something why did you just run into the closet to cry come here what's wrong what is, is an animal being mean to you dog Come here and tell me about it. Look. Look at him. What's wrong? Tell mama. You tell me what they did to you. You tell me. Tell me. Oh, I know. You just tell me. I'll go get him, okay? We'll go get him. He's so precious, y'all. Oh, you just came inside like 45 seconds ago. That's why I was in the kitchen when I started this vlog. Because I let you in. You don't need to go back out. No. It, he's so cute. It physically is hard for us to not get another dog. Like we love Zeus. We have three cats. We got we got enough cats. We love Zeus so much that there was a lady. He's a lab mix. There was a lady who was like, "We have free lab puppies for sale." Like a lab mix. This lady, this mom came and just gave birth in our yard, so we've got them. And um we almost got one because we love him so much that we were like, he needs a friend. But we wanna get our yard gated first um, and that's expensive to do. <laughs> so it'll be a while y'all. We also have too many animals, but um, okay. So today I've got a lot, a lot to do. A lot of blog, a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, I still have to work my full job from eight to five like normal so we will see how this day goes Doug you're a mess but look at oh before I forget where's my other slipper come it so my husband is real chill <laughs> Sam is really chill like doesn't I don't know to him he just doesn't care about little things that that impact his life he's just like eh like it's fine he's he's chill so i knew we had a rip in our bed sheets it was tiny to my opinion and last night sam goes god i could just i could put my whole body in this hole it's so bad and i was like oh okay i get up this morning can we talk about this rip in the sheets <laughs> Like, when did this happen? I'm so confused. I, you guys, I make the bed every day and this literally is like a full-sized human hole in our sheets. So needless to say, we're, uh, we're gonna be going to get more of those today. <laughs> I it's like half the bed. Oh my god, I need coffee. I just, I need coffee. Too early for all of this. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so. If you watched the last vlog. I think I'm gonna go get Dippin' Dots and then also go and get Frosty and put the Frosty in the fridge. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat them both. The I'm not gonna have dinner, I'm eating both. <laughs> You're not having that it is for my dinner. dinner. No, I, as your wife, am putting my foot down. So, Sam. I'm an adult. I'll do whatever I wanna do. If you watched the last vlog, was just bitching about not having 
I didn't give him, I didn't get him a frosty when he came home and he was just so neglected. It's a day later, about 24 hours later, and this boy is still complaining about wanting his dang frosty. Just get a whole Wendy's four for four meal. So then, no, because I bought you pizza. No, you bought you pizza. No, there is, I say 50% of everything for you. 50% of the garlic knots, 50% of the pizza. We're going to get this boy, apparently, dipping Dots and a Frosty. He's just, he's a kept man. I really might get a Wendy's four for four. You're not. With uh, the Frosty. No. And some dipping Dots and okay. just treat myself yes. tonight. We have to go um, to a gas station. I looked it up, a gas station that sells dipping Dots. And then we have to drive, oh, all the way to, um, it's literally, it's halfway there. We have to go all the way over state lines. Where's, where's the other one? Way closer. Across from Chick-fil-A and the GameStop and the Aldi, oh all that's gosh. right there in town. It's way closer than what you're thinking. I just have never met a man so high maintenance. And they eat it. All right, so we just spent $16 on Dippin' Dots. So you're gonna give me a spoiler on Subway? Push thumb in, then pull. I don't know what that means. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. You gotta like. Yeah. Rip it. Way rip easy. it. Yeah. Okay. I got the birthday cake. That'd he be got. Everything I wanted it to be. He got banana split. Well. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, it's 170 calories per bag. Mine's only 160. Haha. Uh -huh. So, cold. Wow. Mm. It's really cold. It's hard to eat with a spoon. The, so there's a Subway in the Circle K that we just bought these Dippin' Dots. You probably didn't pay attention. You probably didn't notice it. I saw it. All of the bread and everything was gone. Mm -hmm. There was like nothing in it and nobody was working. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one. And then there's a, uh, it's like an Exxon that's up in North Carolina, pretty close to us too that I've eaten at in the past. This spoon sucks. Both of those subways were shut down in the last two or three days. In the last week, but shut down in the last couple days because somebody in the, the one that's in North Carolina bit into their sandwich and a roach came out, which prompted a health inspection call of all of the subways that are like in this area in the gas stations. That one failed. It's in a sealed, uh, I'm not worried what? about this, but. Yeah, they found a, uh, they found roaches in the, like, in a sandwich from a customer. Then they, de uh, the, what is it? Not I would throw up. Not de -hick. Health inspector came in, inspected uh, it. Mm -hmm. Bugs mm -hmm. all in the, like. You got shot. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna throw up. So I got shut down. I'm glad I've never got subway from there. That's repulsive. Two. Three, three weeks ago, two of the guys I worked with got subs from that subway and then got sick, got food poisoning from them just a few hours later. And they're now assuming that that was why. That's disgusting. Because having bugs, it's, it's gross, but it happens even to clean restaurants. Having them in your food, like you have to be that careful. Like we've worked in restaurants. You know how carefree you have to be in order to get a bug inside of your food. Oh. I mean, I don't, I don't remember Ugh. ever really like, like, I look, my uncle in the past said that he's 53 and that when he was in high school, early 20s working like he worked in restaurants and kitchens and all kind of stuff that was like pretty normal like he would see bugs in most kitchens how it was every restaurant i worked at and like now mm -hmm. I, I don't remember ever seeing bugs at you the only time i remember ever seeing bugs at that restaurant they were they were in the dining area and they were coming in from the public door that's, not from that's, the kitchen. That's whenever I've seen bugs in restaurants I've worked in. It was always in the dining area and they were coming in from the outside doors. And a lot of times There's, it was either when it had been really rainy or really cold. 
and yeah. they were attracted to the heat. I, I, those big fans that they have at all the kitchen doors keep mm -hmm. like, I, I, we would leave that door open and like unload the trucks and stuff, and mm -hmm. it would be open for a while. And there would be nothing coming nothing in. Nothing because the fans like knocks them out and won't Found. like they can't fly into it. But yeah, and then like you can't treat for bugs in restaurants because you can't spray. So you have to put out traps, but then you're in a restaurant, so you have to do it strategically. I don't remember ever seeing anything like in the food. That's oh. Yeah. Oh, this is like one of the most difficult spoons I've ever. Oh, it's a subway spoon. Like, who has a spoon like this? Oh god. Me. But I was like, someone just pulled it beside us. I'm not worried about it. It's very weird. Gas station food to begin with, so yeah. Right. Anything at a gas station, I feel it has to be sealed for me to eat it. Yeah. I don't eat food from gas stations. So we have a lot of errands to do today. We've got to go to Lidl, PetSmart, we have to go to Verizon to get somebody a new phone. And then we also have to go to... Where else are we going? Lowe's or Home Depot to get paint because I we just up and decided we're going to paint the door today. Today or tomorrow? Yeah, today or tomorrow, this weekend. Um, so I just wanted to make it clear because I was telling Sam this morning, there is this constant ongoing battle between Android and iPhone. And I've had four iPhones. Each iPhone has been just like with an upgrade. Like I got a new one when it was time for an upgrade. I have never had my phone screen crack and then be like, what would you say it? Like I can't use it. Um, this area right here always gets the lighting. I've never had any issues with my phone not working because it had a cracked screen and I actually have had a cracked screen on my iPhone for quite some time haven't had any issues with it Sam my brother and my father have all had Androids and they have all had multiple Androids within one two-year time frame look at their house they painted it brick they painted the brick it looks amazing that does look a lot better than it doesn't look so good it looks like they're gonna paint the shutters too because all the shutters oh, are down looks so good um a new color but I mean red, his I phone cracked one time and then it has proceeded to continue to crack. That did not make sense. It has continued to crack over and over and over again. And same with my father and same with my brother and like they'll put theirs in their back pocket and it'll crack. So there's a feud between iPhone and Android. I think iPhones are better because I haven't had to have multiple phones because mine cracked and became basically worthless. So just felt the need to throw that out there. If you were one of those families where the house is divided phone rules rules always okay so we just went into verizon and we were in there for like what would you say 10 just 10 minutes yeah, maybe and there was this lady walking around and i heard their two conversations and one of them was like how long have you been in here and the lady goes 45 minutes she's like and you haven't been seen and the lady goes no and she goes oh i've been here for 30 and i looked at him i said we're doing this online <laughs> i'm not i'm hungry i'm not waiting for four hours like I like Verizon, but that getting a new phone and all that, it's like the slowest process ever. So we are now at Moe's. And then we're gonna go to Home Depot and pick out our paint. I got a steak bowl. His is way better though. Uh, Yummy. That's <laughs> so good. Doug, look. Take care what mama got you. Oh, sweet boy. Oh, he took it off. He's like, oh, I got a toy. I got a new toy. <laughs> look how cute he is, Sam. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's, he, he. You don't want the Dracula. No, you don't want him. He is the cutest. You're the cutest dog in the whole world, Doug. Okay, so we got the paint for the door. I'll show you guys the colors closer somewhere down in here. So the we got the gray color for the door because I don't have I have I even said anything yet? We're painting our door. We're painting the door. If I haven't said that, it's red. I hate it. I hate the red door. And the thing is, it's been painted a few times without like the proper 
without people like actually taking care of it and like doing it the way it needed to be done. So like it's just dingy and it needs to be cleaned anyway. So what we're gonna do is wash it. Sam's gonna sand it and then paint it this color. So I really don't like using colors that aren't Sherwin-Williams, but this is Bare Dark Ash, and the color is TC-41. And then we're just gonna repaint the inside because it's, this is Newhouse White RDW-10. Um, we're gonna redo the inside because the people that lived here before us had a dog that absolutely destroyed the store. You can come inside. Absolutely destroyed the door. And so, like, our dog, he knows better than to do this crap. So we bought, like, wood putty, and we're going to fill that in and then repaint the entire door. So we got a quart of paint for each. We got the uh, paint and primer exterior semi-gloss in the gray and then the interior semi-gloss on the white. Hopefully it's close to the trim color. Hopefully. <laughs> because semi-gloss does not um, show every nick and dip and scratch, like... Oh, that's really close, actually. So this is, well, that needs to be fixed. Um, but this side of the door did not get completed today because he did, he ended up doing like all of the trim and then he did the inside like here. So that looks really good, but he just didn't have time. And also we didn't want to flip the door over and then it um, get messed up. So I love it. I think it looks so much better than the red. So that was our fun little project for the day. Sam's fun project. I'm not going to take any credit. So yeah, just that little part right there needs to be painted, but the whole thing is gonna get painted in its place. But that part is just the putty that he sanded down. All right guys, we are piecing out for this vlog. As Sam always goes, just, you know, gonna call it a night. I'm so tired. Time. Say bye. It's only like eight o'clock. It's saying. I know. Can we go get in bed? And just like go to bed at eight. Is that acceptable for early twenties? Bye guys. <laughs>